too much to give in to you. I won't betray my friends just to save my ass and be a slave to you. I won't deny myself the fucking right to live. I'm never gonna kneel. Never surrender. And rise up from the shit life. to another week of the Prickly Rickly here at the J Stone Show at rockmetaltalk.com. This week I have special guest. We are the Flesh. And I played these guys a couple of fucking weeks ago and I am super fucking stoked about these cats. I mean, shit. Their music is fucking killing it. If you haven't fucking checked it out, go on there right now. Just do a search for fucking We Are The Flesh. And on the phone I have with me, introduce yourself, guys. I'm PD Flesh, the vocalist for We Are The Flesh. What's up, guys? I'm Andre Weiss. I play guitar. Fucking A. Hey, I just want to know, uh, are you a Walking Dead theme type of band? No, we're not. We're not a Walking Dead theme band as a whole, uh, but that's definitely the... Uh, the theme of our first two tales that we told in, in those two tracks. Um, right, right. And I fucking love those two fucking songs because, I mean, shit. I mean, it, they could just be on the fucking soundtrack for The Walking Dead. I mean, that would, really? That would be, just, that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, it would fucking be. AMC, I know you're listening. You assholes. Pick them up. Anyway, let me program. know. let me know the history of the band. I know you guys haven't been around... Yeah, man. very long. So, what's up? Let me know. Well, let, let me. We'll get into that. But let me just do one quick side note because on your last on your segment when you were uh, kind enough to introduce us and play our songs, which we greatly appreciate. Uh, just for the record, um, those uh, uh, what you referred to as samples on the Negan song are not samples. The, that is that is me uh, doing PD Flesh doing direct uh, imp, uh, impressions and uh, oh. interpret. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Okay, yeah, man, we okay. were in the studio and just doing take after take. We'd be like, what do we use? Which one's the best one? And then we're, we're just, as we finally got down to it, we were like, all right, this one represents what we've heard on the show the absolute best. And uh, obviously that worked out because, you you know, you were talking about it as a sample. So we're, we were really stoked to hear that. It means I did a good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit, I mean, you fucking got me. I mean, I'm... Because I've been in court before where we had used samples from, like, horror movies and shit when I was younger. Right. And, fuck, man. These motherfuckers, like, uh, big production companies would come after us and they would just be like, oh, you can't use that. And I'm like, well, you know, it's just like 10 seconds of it. I mean, is it really <laughs> that bad? I mean, really? Right. Are you that hard up for fucking money? I mean, right, right, right. I mean, yeah. Well, just on that note, just for the record and kind of uh, unofficially kind of for those purposes, you know, we were like, you know what, those are our own interpretations, man. So there's no, there's no official sample from any kind of content whatsoever. It's all our own uh, impression, our own, my own interpretation. And that's fucking great. So, um, so I've gotten three songs from you guys and I love all three fucking tunes. 
but and I know the EP is um, out now on iTunes and Spotify and all that. Are there yep. any other songs? Is there a uh, a full length album that we can look forward to? Uh, so actually, the way that we've been approaching this whole thing, even the first two songs, even though they were released uh, in conjunction with one another, uh, we're actually avoiding that whole package altogether we're avoiding an ep or an album we're actually going for more of a single model of anything we consider that like a dual-sided single uh we're because we're just trying to stick to a regular release schedule we're gonna have something coming out actually within the next month or so period is our goal and we want to continue that model moving forward uh because you know as our influences and the stories we're telling keep changing and shifting we are finding new things that inspire us we want to have the flexibility to keep moving on uh, on new tracks. Okay. Uh, well, you speak of influence. Who are your influences? Oh, man. You know, we could get into that, like, musically in terms of uh, all the, the influences and stuff like that. But just kind of to answer your question from before, man, um, we – so um, Andre and, and myself, like, we've, we've – we've done a, a, a number of projects. We were in, in different bands together and we kind of formed this new project, uh, you know, a few months ago. And then we just kind of wanted this walking dead stuff to be the first chapter, um, in our series of tales that we'll tell some more, more what we're kind of focused on, um, in terms of in, our influences per se are more just, you know, the art forms that we're into, you know, like, like, uh, walking dead, you know, different shows, different, different uh, you know the, the the stories we see on the media you know what i mean the different um right. you know the different kind of uh we, we're basically you know and like you see in our in our in our in our pictures the way we portray ourselves like we're more just we're kind of our own interpretation of the way that that we see society projected onto us you know per like you know cable news channels and the media and there's a new catastrophe every week and a new tragedy every every second to watch in our 24-hour news cycle you know what i mean so we're kind of more like doing a display of that kind of thing you know right and it, you know what since i uh first played uh the two songs negan and never gonna kneel uh i have gotten a lot of fucking responses about those songs because i you know a lot of my listeners are you know uh fans of the walking dead and everything and um i'm glad that my friend which is a dumbass he sent me the fucking <laughs> song <laughs> he's like check this out uh, it, but he was trying to be kind of like joking and shit and you know right. try, trying to be you know check off this parody band and I'm like no this ain't a parody band man this fucking <laughs> band is badass dude what the fuck are you talking about but anyway so I'm hoping that uh, me per, uh, playing the songs a couple weeks ago has gotten you guys more of a fan base absolutely world, worldwide we eternally appreciate the support man we're so thrilled for that dude we're thrilled that you uh, wanted to have us on here man oh i mean shit i mean i'm a vocalist so i i <clears throat> i always listen to different types of bands uh artists whichever uh musically i'm out there but my passion and my love is for hardcore uh, type of metal, oh, yeah. and you know, I, I grew up with it all. And you guys, you guys have that thing. And don't let anybody tell you you do not because you fucking do. Um, Thank you, man. So yeah, thanks. How long have you guys fucking been together? I mean, I know it's been a short time, but how long? Uh, if you want to put like an actual date range on it fuck what would you say dude you mean for this particular for, project? For this project for we are the flesh how long has we are the flesh been together just this year man i just would say year. maybe like june or july of this year dude yeah brand new so do you all self-produce your stuff or or do you go into one of them fine california <laughs> studios yes yeah, I mean, we basically uh, self-produce all our own content. Um, we'll, you know, we have a, a basically, for lack of a better word, we have kind of a team of uh, different 
different people that we work with um, that that are a part of you know our project uh, either directly or indirectly. So you know, obviously, we got a couple guys that we work with uh, that mix and master our tracks, and then we got a couple people that handle our online content that's in the works right now, and got a couple other people that handle like our our uh, our production content, like uh, you know, like the makeup and like the pictures and stuff like that. It's all it's all basically a collective. It's a team, you know. Cool. So, have you guys hooked up with any type of like um, official like uh, booking company or touring managers or anything like that? Well, as of right now, as we're getting all of our stuff started, um, we've both you know had experience in the past with different projects and, and just music in general. And so, right now, as we're getting started off the ground. Uh, most of the stuff we're, we're self handling until we get to a point where we really need that because uh, you know we, we've seen stuff end up in the wrong hands so to speak before not not just talking personally but just with other people so we're trying to learn from any mistakes we or other people have made right. and uh, we're more self managing to make sure that we get the best product out that we possibly can and you know what today I mean you don't, you really don't need anybody to uh, point you in the direction anymore i mean you you really don't need that person because everybody can do everything for themselves and i i, I find that that is cool um but as far as like touring internationally and all right. that good stuff you need to have some type of absolutely uh, clout behind that that way you can get over and I, I I really believe you guys can fucking make it if you can just get over to fucking England. I played England twice and the the, the fans there are just I mean, they love that hardcore metal sound. And I think you guys would fucking just blow up over there. Hell yeah, man. Well and, and just to be clear we're open to all of those kind of scenarios and we do understand we are interested in partnering with different, um, uh, professionals and avenues, you know, in that whole, that whole, that whole kind of, uh, that whole area of production and, 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 and live performance stuff. We're, that's definitely a part of the plan right. Just right now because we're so new, we're more focused kind of with the experience, uh, that we have being in other bands and other projects and haven't been around the block a little bit. We're more focused on establishing really what our overall message is and our overall method of like, uh, release of content is going to be uh, once we get that off the ground and it's really getting full steam up and running um, then we're, we're kind of going to point our you know our missiles and our fucking agenda you know and our whole our whole energy and our whole you know plan towards that direction but right now we're just kind of we're kind of building the ship right now and then we'll cu- start pointing it in the direction it's going to sail in you know have you tried to uh, get in contact with Cococ Whiskey uh, those guys are really fucking cool they endorsed my band they've endorsed a whole bunch of other bands that, oh, okay. are, uh, that are you know real well known and um, I can shoot you guys a fucking uh, uh, thumbs up to uh, the uh, the band administrator or wherever the fuck he is now but um, yeah have you ever tried to go to Cococ Whiskey Cococ Whiskey uh, does a bunch of the festivals like Ozfest meets uh, Not Fest and oh, okay. any type of other type of fest. No, um, I've never thought of that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah we have. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, ahead. we're more than uh, open to to doing that kind of thing. I mean, that sounds really perfect. I mean, right up our alley. Really, you know, the kind of bands that, that play those kind of events. That's an awesome idea, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I suggest that you guys go up to uh, Cococ Whiskey, send in your little fucking resume. Um, it's pretty much, uh, they send you some stuff and um, you get put into a pot for certain uh, areas and shit. I know this past weekend, San Bernardino. In California, you guys are from California, right? What what yeah. area of California yeah. are you from? What's that? What area of California are you guys from? We're from Los Angeles. Oh, okay. So how far from uh, San